Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. I just realized I have to get my phone pulled up because I put my notes in my phone. All right, you guys, this is gonna be just a quick video update on the items that I have sold from the I Got It Free garage sale. Okay, let me pull up what I'm talking about. If you guys missed this video, you definitely have to go check it out. It's the first garage sale since like lockdown was over. And I got there and they were closing up and everything was free. So I wasn't really sure how much I was going to make, but I had people throw out some numbers. So I thought it would be fun to show you guys what I have sold so far. And actually, I've done pretty good. Um, I'll give you my totals at the end. And I still have so much listed from this garage sale. I mean, what? a score what a score like i have made way more than i don't want to say way more than i i guess way more than i thought i would have at this point with still having so much listed so let's get started all right you guys be sure to like the video and if you hit that little bell right down here that will alert you when i post new videos and here's the first item and this one was a looney tunes puzzle let me just confirm that I have, yeah, StreamYard up, um, my screen share. So this was a Looney Tunes jigsaw puzzle and it was free and I almost didn't grab it because it was open, like you could open the box, but I didn't look inside and I'm like, you know what, it's free, I'm just gonna grab it. And it was still sealed. So wow, wow, wow. And puzzles were really, really big and this sold really, really quick because everybody was quarantined, they didn't have anything to do and they were stuck at home doing puzzles. So I did take a best offer of, of $35 on this plus shipping. And some of these you guys may have seen in my past what sold videos, but this is just kind of everything from the free garage sale that has sold so far. These little guys are ornaments and they're Garfield and you can see, you know, it's got a little repair here and up on his neck, there's another little repair right there, you can see the paint's kind of coming off. But I took a best offer of, on this for $22 plus shipping. So what a surprise that was. This little have a hank sold super fast. Somebody offered me eight bucks and I took it. They paid the shipping and I'm guessing they were probably gonna use it as a mask. So they sold really fast. I sold this Dr. Seuss hat pretty quick. And I think the same day I sold this uh, Marvin the Martian. These did sell for full asking price of $13.20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Jose Cuervo and it's just a collector's box, just the box. And it slides open like this and it has this on the inside and it had the little advertisement and it's from 2013. I took a best offer on this for $22 and I still have one listed and the other one is actually listed for more. It's um, the style of it is more popular than this one. And I hope to get between 30 and $40 on the other one. This one, okay, you guys, these mirrors, I'm gonna tell you what, crazy. I had eight of them. And in total for the eight that I sold, I sold them for $96.68. These things flew out of my store. I'm not kidding. They flew out of my store so fast. And um, that's not including the shipping. That's just cost before shipping. So everybody paid their own shipping cost also for these. So yeah, $96.68 on these mirrors. The next item is this Carhartt replacement hood. So it snaps onto a Carhartt. And I actually, I think I sold this yesterday. And it sold for full asking price of $30.80 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these pajamas. And the gal sent me an offer. I had it on um, auction for $49.99. And she sent me an offer for like $45. And then she messaged me and said, can you cancel the offer? I'm like, okay, no big deal. And then she offered me $48. And she's like, I'm just not sure about the condition. So I'm hoping this like is not going to be a return because it is a vintage item. And you can see, you know, it's got some 
aware, but overall, considering its age, it's in really great condition. Like the feet, there's no like holes in the feet or anything like that. You know how they break down because of the material. The feet look great. And I took a best offer of $48 plus shipping on this. So I was excited about that one. Again, you guys, all of this was free at that garage sale. Go watch the video. I have so much left that is still listed. And I donated so much. Um, the next item is this hat. It's a vintage 80s totes uh, fedora hat. It's a large. It's a wool blend. And I got this free. And I sold it for $35. Poshmark took $7. And my earnings on this was $28. The next item is this um, Oak Hall graduation gown, and I sold this for $10. Posh took $2.95, so my earnings were $7.05. Um, the buyer did message me and ask me to cancel this order after I had um, already shipped it, so I could not cancel it, but they ended up not needing it. So I felt really bad, um, but once something goes out, I can't do anything about it. And a lot of times on Poshmark, the tracking is delayed. so it doesn't show that it has shipped until that tracking updates. So um, had they caught me before I shipped it, I definitely would have been able to, uh, to cancel that order for them. But they left me positive feedback and they were very kind. And when they asked to cancel, they offered to buy something else in replacement. But like I said, again, it had already shipped. The next item I sold was this Harry Potter plush ball purse and it was missing the strap but it still had the like little zipper pocket. This sold super fast. It's just a bread and butter bolo. Um, I sold it for 15 with free shipping. So I probably paid three bucks or so to ship it. It wasn't very heavy. And the last item I sold is this Boynton, Boynton, I don't know how to say it, plush hippo. And I look, tried to look it up. I could not find another one like it. So I just priced it kind of high. And I had it priced at $35 and somebody offered me 30 and I took it and I did have free shipping on it. It was first class. So it cost me between three and $4 to ship it because it was not very heavy. And I think their feedback said it was like in like new conditions. So that was cool. So let's talk about the numbers here. Um, it's a little bit tricky because what I did is I added up the eBay sales based on um, just what it sold for. I did not include what they paid for shipping. And then Poshmark, um, how did I do Poshmark? The shipping, I didn't include the shipping in that either because they pay the shipping to Poshmark. So, and then on Mercari, the shipping, I pay the shipping, so I did not deduct that. So with that being said, my total sales for those items so far is $379.06. Now, um, I had about seven or eight bucks that I paid for shipping, so you can deduct that. And then um, the PayPal fees were 20%, so deduct that. And then the eBay fees and PayPal fees usually average about 15%. So let's say at 379.06, let's just say I've probably made 300 to $340, $30, 300 to 330. Pretty close. I'd say those numbers are pretty close. We'll say if we're playing it really safe, I've made $300 so far off of the free garage sale. So what I want you guys to do is let me find the video. Go over to this video and I'll try to remember to link it down below and check out what else I got. Oh, I just remembered that cool picture. Yeah, I've got like three or four. Oh yeah, that um, that thing is Ethan Allen. I've got some really good bolos still listed. I would say, I somebody said they thought I was gonna make $1,000 and you know what? I might, I might. So go watch that video. I'll post a link down below and let me know what you guys think. And um, there's also a link to my store down in the description of the video if you guys want to go and check out what I have listed. So once you watch the video, um, you can go in and like search by the item and see what I have it listed for if you would like. And let me know how much you think I'm going to make. 
I don't know, I wasn't planning on doing a video like this, but I've sold quite a few things and I was kind of curious and I didn't think I had sold that much. So I'm pretty excited. So as always, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and go watch a Bolo video. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.